Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president and founder of Forward.us, Joe Green. Welcome. Welcome, dreamers and your families. Welcome, elected officials. Welcome, business leaders. Welcome, educators. Welcome, mom and dad. <laughs> and, and our collective mothers, the dreamer moms, of course. <laughs> Welcome to our friends from the press. Welcome to people from major tech companies and startup founders and some of the world's greatest engineers. Welcome to our undocumented neighbors. It is extraordinary to look across this room and see the diverse group of allies who all have a stake in immigration reform. Since we started Ford US, I've spoken with people from across the political spectrum. And I gotta tell you, I have been struck by how people with differing points of view are engaging seriously and in good faith, and they are doing so because all of you, and especially people like Jose, have been willing to put these issues out on the table in a deeply personal way. Tonight, we will see a remarkable film that does what great art is supposed to do to capture in one person's story, the story of millions. It cuts through the impenetrable armor of political rhetoric that surrounds this issue and gets to the simple core. Immigration is who we are. I, I am so proud to be, able to, to be able to introduce a leader in the tech community and one of my oldest and dearest friends, Mark Zuckerberg. As someone who's known Mark a long time, Mark is one of the most deeply morally driven people that I have ever known. When we started Forward, many suggested that we just stick with tech visas. But Mark, together with our other founders, many of whom are here, refused to stop there. We insisted, as we insist today, on comprehensive immigration reform. <laughs> this, 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 this really is an easy crowd, by the way. <laughs> it's therefore only appropriate that Mark, who is the biggest dreamer that I know, is here together with all of you dreamers and families of dreamers and supporters of dreamers to talk about why it is time for the dream that all of us have had for so long to become a dream no more. <laughs> Friends, please give a warm welcome to Mark Zuckerberg. Thanks for, this is amazing to, to see so many people from so many different parts of our community come out tonight uh, to support comprehensive immigration reform. So thank you guys all so much for, for coming out and for all the work that you've done so far to support this cause. I get the honor tonight of introducing um, a friend, Jose Vargas. Um, <laughs> And um, before I do that, I just want to tell my short story of, of how I got involved in this. Um, I started off actually interested in, in education. My, my wife, when she graduated from school, went to become a teacher, so our dinner conversations were largely about Facebook on the one hand and, and kids on the other. And um, we started doing some projects in, in education, and pretty quickly she decided that you know, we weren't going to be, and I wasn't going to be, um, someone who just contributed to, to education projects without having any direct involvement, she decided that I actually needed to teach myself. So she helped me set up um, a program at a local school in, in East Menlo Park, um, where for a whole semester I went and, and taught um, a, a, a class of students about um, entrepreneurship. 
And one, um, every, one day after one of the classes, I, um, I asked the kids what they were worried about. And one of the students raised his hands and said, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to go to college because I'm undocumented. And this really touched me. I, I, I hadn't made this, this connection. And I asked the students how many of them were born outside of, of the US. And about half of them put their hands up. And um, it was completely, it was, it was impossible to tell the difference between them. There was no difference between the, the students who were, who were born in the US and who were born outside. Uh, but they had this, this issue. And they weren't going to be given an equal opportunity. And one of them turned to me and said, you know, I really hope that, that someone um, does something to rally this community and um, to, help, to help organize and give us all an equal opportunity. So I, I went home and I, and I talked to some of my friends who run tech companies and um, we decided to, that we were going to try to do our best at, at, at helping out and, um, and, and creating this organization um, that, that would hopefully um, push to, to get comprehensive immigration reform done. Um, one of the things that I, that I took away from that was, you know, people often talk about two parts of the issue. Um, high skill H-1Bs, the issues that tech companies have, and full comprehensive immigration reform as if they're two completely separate issues. But anyone who knows a dreamer knows that they're not. Right? The, the students who, you know, no matter where they were born, uh, coming into this country are going to be tomorrow's entrepreneurs and the people creating jobs in this, in this country. Um, Someone did a study recently that showed that about half of, of the top tech companies were founded by immigrants directly. Uh, so these are, these are issues that don't just touch our part of the industry, but really touch the whole country and touch what is right for us to do as, as a people. So you know, Silicon Valley, always an idealistic place. Um, I always think that the people who start companies out here, they're not just doing it to build their own company. They're doing it because we want to make an impact in the world. And when we got started trying to pull together forward.us. Uh, I was really heartened to see just how easy it was to get so many of the leaders of, of a lot of the great companies out here to sign on to support not just the issues that would benefit their companies, but full comprehensive immigration reform. So that's why we're here today on, on the stage representing forward.us, because this is something that we believe is, is really important for the, the future of our country and for us to do what's right. So I first met Jose when he was writing about social media and, and Virginia Tech and some stories that he, he eventually went on to win a Pulitzer in. And then later on, he covered Facebook a bunch, and we got a chance to work together. When the president, um, a, a little while back, signed an executive order, uh, making it so that a bunch of younger folks um, could, could stay in, in, in the country, um, and, and he, was, he missed the cutoff by four months. And he's been fighting to make sure that no one has the same issues that he's had um, and, and to really bring justice. And I find his story so compelling. He's a great friend. Um, and I think you'll find the movie that, that he's put together and, and helped to organize really touching as well. So now I'd like to hand it off to Jose to come and say a few words about his, his film. Um, wow. First of all, thanks to Joe and thanks to Mark um, and thanks to Forward, that us for partnering up with Define American to host a screening. And I remember when Joe and Mark and I, you know, were first talking about Forward. They didn't even really have a name yet. And they wanted to make sure that this was not only going to be about engineers. It wasn't only going to be about H1B. It wasn't going to be only about Silicon Valley. And I think the fact that we're having this screening and we have a room full of dreamers, undocumented students, please say something. Undocumented people who are here, please. We have mothers of dreamers. Dreamers moms flew, traveled from Florida, Arizona to be here. We have, we have the day laborers and day workers from the Day Worker Center in Mountain View who are here. This very room represents what immigration reform is and what is at stake. And when Mark and Joe and the founders of Forward at Us, when they said forward, it actually meant all of us. And that's why we're really, really thankful for that. 
Um, I arrived in America on August 3rd, 1993. That was 20 years ago this past Saturday. Um, this is a homecoming for me. Um, this is where my Filipino-American family is at. Um, this is the family at Mountain View High School, my community at Mountain View that protected me and took care of me. And that's why this, this evening means a lot. And you know, two years ago when I told him that I was gonna do this, that I was gonna publicly tell the truth um, and tell one very specific story to underscore a greater universal truth, I told him that the goal was to try to provide a narrative and a story that people could understand and latch into. Um, I would never have imagined that this would have been it. And this is why when we started Define American two years ago, um, Define American hoping to elevate how we talk about immigration and citizenship and identity in a demographically changing America, right? And we've been at the forefront of changing how the media and art and culture looks at this issue. And the film is actually a project of Define American. And the film is dedicated to my mother. It's dedicated to mothers and fathers of immigrants who cross either through Ellis Island or Angel Island, who work in Silicon Valley and Central Valley, who all they wanted to do was to provide a better future for people like us, for their sons and for their daughters. At the very core of what we ask at Define American is how do you define American? As far as I'm concerned, I'm an American. I'm just waiting for my country to recognize it. So thank you again very much, and I hope you enjoy the film. Thank you.